For what? <laughs> That's the last time I get to do that. <laughs> hello, 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 students. Welcome, Everybody. welcome. What up, y'all? What up, y'all? Last day, best day ever. Come on. Woo! Yes. <laughs> How's it going, the Henderson family? Juanita, Kayla, good to see you all. Welcome, welcome. What's going on, Norma? Just like always, we're gonna give folks a couple minutes to pop on up and, and join us right before we get started. It How's the weather where you at, Mr. Devin? It's it's a little gloomy outside. They said it's supposed to rain a little bit later. You know, weatherman be lying sometimes, though. <laughs> now ask me. Uh-oh. I'm jealous, <laughs> man. I know you got good weather. What's the weather like over there, Mr. Griff? Oh, I believe 90-something, all sun, go to the beach, take your shoes off style. Oh, uh, you just wanted to brag. You just wanted to <laughs> rub it in. I'm just saying. I was hoping Naptown had some weather that was comparable, but I guess Miami is just uh... hot and humid here. Hot <laughs> and humid. All the heat, none of the sun. <laughs> exactly. It feels like you could go swimming though, just in the air. For real. Oh, they got this pool on a rooftop, right? That's so dope. I'm about to go up there after this. Read. They got these cabanas. I'm gonna just read a book. I bought this book called the Twenty One. Um, uh, laws of uh, no, 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 it's the, the 21, 21, something about tuition, how to, how to 21 ways to expand your intuition. That's what it oh, is. Nice. I, I like that. I think, a, I think a girl wrote it cause y'all already got great intuition. So only a man <laughs> could, we could just learn from it. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> We all have it. Everybody has intuition. You just got to practice it like a muscle. I know. I know. I believe that too. What color are you feeling today, Ms. Nicole? I am feeling like a cantaloupe color. I like a cantaloupe. orangey color. Cantaloupe. All Genesis right. and the Hill Kids are saying rainbow. I mm -hmm. like all the colors. Mr. Devin, what about you, sir? Uh, I'm feeling lavender today. Calm, relaxed, chill. I like that. Love like it. Myself. Yeah. <laughs> I am feeling fire, red, hot, burning. Um, I'm, I'm, I love the energy I'm giving out right now. We got a lot of money to give out today. So that red yes. is going to go a long way. A yes. whole lot of money. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Hello and good afternoon, everyone. I would like to personally thank you all for joining us for the second annual Madam Walker Legacy Center 2021 Summer Institute. I would like to also extend major thanks to our incredible supporters, the Lilly Endowment, Allen Whitehill Closed Charitable Foundation, Crystal DeHaan Family Foundation, the Indianapolis Foundation, Central Indiana Community Foundation, the Arts Indiana Arts Commission, the Arts Council of Indianapolis and the city of Indianapolis. Thank you all so much for your support. We couldn't do this without you. My name is Devin and I'm the programs and outreach manager here at the historic Madam Walker Legacy Center. And I am thrilled to be one of your camp counselors for the 2021 Summer Institute. Now, before we jump in, I wanna take a moment to ask all of you who've attended all of our previous sessions since the beginning of July to post in the chat your thought of our most recent session. Go ahead and give us a grade. Grade us like you would a teacher. An A means that we did good. A C or a D meaning uh, probably a little poor. Go ahead and be as honest as you want. And after you've done that, tell us where you're from and what your favorite lesson from this year's Summer Institute was. My favorite lesson was, honestly, I enjoyed the, the dancing from Kinyete Dance Company, but I also really, really, really appreciated the NASA session. So let us know which was your favorite session. And while you're posting, I'm going to tell you a little bit about us, but those of you who have been here probably could tell me a whole lot more than I'm telling you. Our mission here at the Madam Walker Legacy Center is to inspire, engage, and empower individuals in our culturally diverse community, both here in Indianapolis, Indiana, where the Madam Walker Legacy Center is housed, and online. 
Now, no matter where you live, welcome. And although this is our final class, we hope you'll come back to learn, grow, and celebrate the legacy of Madam C.J. Walker again and again and again for all of our future institutes. All right, campers. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and turn you over to our two camp counselors, Mr. Griff and Ms. Nicole. First, let me tell you a little bit about Ms. Nicole, like always, and then I'll introduce you to Mr. Griff. Nicole is a Gryffindor, loves perfume, boba tea, and going kayaking. Everybody, please welcome Miss Nicole. Miss Nicole! Nicole! Miss Nicole! Ah. <laughs> and Mr. Griff. He's a comedian of over 25 years, a father of five. You can hear him every day. Monday through Friday, nationwide or locally on AM 1310 The Light, Indianapolis on Get Up Mornings with Erica Campbell Radio Show. Your camp counselor, Mr. Griff. Man, you know I got nothing but love for y'all. Shout out to Mr. Devin, open it up for us every day. This has been an amazing month. I have had a ball. I love closing it out here in sunny Miami, but we are gonna give away some money. We got some videos to show. Mr. Cole, am I telling them the rules first and then we gonna play the video or what you think? You on mute, Ms. Nicole, and you going in. Oh yeah, you're right, I was going in. Yes, we're gonna do the rules, we're gonna do a quick recap, and then we're just gonna jump into the video and then today's session, and then talk about the prizes. Okay. So number one, I'm reading all the, uh, the, it's a lot of A pluses from yesterday, it's a B. And then he asked, what was their favorite thing? They're saying, they're saying uh, the drawing, I actually love that, the entrepreneurship, the game making, the first session in art. Yeah, Miss Deanna was awesome. Uh, it was good stuff, good stuff. I'm I'm real proud of you guys. I'm I'm thankful and grateful to be here again with y'all. And uh we're gonna go over the rules. You already know what they are. I hope you are able to apply these rules to your life because they're all it's 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 pretty much the the same thing. You can use it, you just don't have to use it on your laptop for the Matter Walker Legacy Center virtual summer camp. How about that? So rule number one, pay attention. It's a good rule to pay attention. I saw a lady fall off a curb yesterday. Know why? She was not paying attention oh. and she ate that curb with some lettuce and cheese and some mayonnaise on it. That's how much she ate that curb for not paying attention. Oh. Rule number two, ask questions in the chat. You guys been asking awesome questions in the chat. Yeah, you gotta do the chat fingers. If y'all do the chat fingers, it don't count, Mr. Cole. Ask <laughs> questions in the chat. Rule number three, like you all have been doing, don't be this person. Where is, I can't find, mama! Come prepared. All y'all have come prepared. Rule number four, be respectful. That's the easiest rule. To me, that's the most important one. Be respectful, then pay attention to everything. And rule number five, have some fun! Let's go, Mr. Cole! Let's go! Guys, thank you so much for an amazing, amazing month. Can you believe? Almost month, three weeks, but four weeks this week. So it has been amazing. Thank you for joining us. We're so happy that your parents signed you up, or maybe you did, go-getters. <laughs> week one, we talked about social justice. Week two, it was all about the arts. We danced, we sang, it was amazing. Last week, it was all about entrepreneurship and philanthropy. We learned about financial literacy and creating business plans and about personal branding. Saving. And, yes, this week, it was all about science and technology. We made games, we had Microsoft and NASA here. It was insane. Woo! And it is going to culminate today with us giving out prizes for the amazing work that you've done. And even though today is the last day, we still would love you to go ahead and tag us in anything you didn't get a chance to tag us in before or with your vision boards, if you end up creating them, uh, really finishing them out after today, we still want to see it. We still want to see it. 
we had amazing guests with us, everyone from Deanna Craig, Indy 10, the Historical Society, Mr. G, Kenyatta Dance Company, Asante yes. Children's Theater, um, Mr. Kenneth, Ms. Dea Direct, 100 Black Men of Indianapolis, and then of course, Microsoft and NASA this week. We thank you guys. It was amazing and you made it amazing. Mr. Griff, why don't you go ahead and get us started before we jump into this video and our vision boards. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We going straight to the money? No, we're not going straight to the money. We're Man. Going straight, straight to this video here. Okay, all right. I was about to say, don't yeah. listen. We can go to the money. Let's go. Here we go. All right, guys. This is going to tell you guys a little bit about what we're going to be doing today. Oh, this is not what we're going to be doing today, y'all. Sorry. Must have just clicked. Here we go. From summer break to back to school and your day-to-day -day activities change. So this is a great time to refocus and set your vision on what you want to accomplish in the future. In our house, one way we like to do this is by making vision boards. So we are going to make one with you today. Step one is to gather your supplies. The supplies that you're going to need are going to be a, bo a board like poster board, some magazines, scissors, and, and maybe some photos and maybe some cards like with some cool quotes and some tape or glue. We're making ours a little differently. Yes. Paper and pen. General categories that are important to you. You can jot them down so you don't forget. Your category might include school activities, health. She's left-handed. How many of y'all are left-handed? I am. And fun. Oh, are you, Miss Nicole? Nice. Up, grab your magazines and scissors and get to cutting. Look for pictures that look like something you really want to accomplish in the future. It could be something that inspires you or makes you really happy, like a quote. Try to find something for each of your categories. If you have something in mind that you want to put on your board but you can't find it in your magazines, then go to the internet and post something off of there. A great place to look for cool shots is on Pinterest, and a great place for cool quotes is on our Instagram page. And make sure to follow us while you're there. Scroll through our posts and you'll find some. Just screenshot it, print them off, cut them out, and plop them on your board. If you can't find what you're looking for, then just draw your own, like we did. <laughs> Awesome. So, so we're going to be making a little bit something like that today. Yeah, a little bit different than theirs, though, you guys. You're not going to need uh, scissors and different magazines and stuff like that. We're going to make a, 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 a non-conventional um, uh, board today, vision board. And all you're going to need is a paper and a pen or a pencil and some paper, whatever you need, or a Sharpie or whatever you have. We're not going to... We're not gonna worry about all the other stuff. We got something special planned for y'all today, right? Oh yeah. So what are some categories that we can do? What do you guys think? Maybe school? I was about to say school would be a good one on your vision board, especially since you're starting in about two or three weeks. You know, maybe start writing down some things you wanna do better. I wanna get great grades this first semester if it's a new you know a lot of y'all going to junior high and junior high school so mm -hmm. it's a little challenging but guess what third grade was hard when you was a second grader fifth grade was hard when you was a fourth grader seventh grade was hard when you was a sixth grader but when you look back at seventh grade when you a tenth grader you go seventh grade wasn't hard like at all so mm -hmm. you know we just we just need you got oh monica says she left-handed too so i think school would be one i think family could be one you know health is a good one because you could put sports and joining a team all in that category yep al al said sports uh sports is good i do one for yourself you know personal 
what you gonna do? You know, maybe you're gonna let your hair grow out. That's what Mr. Griff might do this year. I might let my, just let these bangs, <laughs> I just might let these bangs and these edges, just get my edges together. Blowing Mr. hair <laughs> in the wind. <laughs> I always wanted to do a perk shampoo commercial in the wind with my <laughs> with my hair in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> travel, um, those are good ones. That's a good personal goal, definitely. Travel. That Home. is uh, yes, ma'am, Norma. Travel is awesome. Where you want to go when COVID is over and everybody can go where they want to again. Where's the first place you would love to go? <laughs> Kayla said, did someone say family in the Dom Toretto voice? Family. I like that, Kayla. I like that. Um, what else is a good one? Um, uh, your creativity. I guess that would be on the personal too. Like, what are you going to draw? What are you going to work on? What are you going to focus on personally? Those are all good ones right there. Somebody said food. I like food. Mm-hmm. Maybe you're a picky eater. I'm a picky eater, and I, you know, I never had an avocado. I, I can't even say an <laughs> avocado. I, I never had an avocado, uh, avocado until two years ago, and then I eat, and I never had a banana in my whole life till two years ago. What? And we had the other day we had a guacamole cart come to our restaurant and i felt so i was so proud of myself because i'm like oh i eat avocados now so i did <laughs> but i still ain't ate a banana by itself so that would be one of my goals just to peel a banana and eat it. i just put them in smoothies yeah yeah you're gonna love it that's gonna be your favorite goal of this year <laughs> <laughs> to eat a banana <laughs> I'm not a picky eater. It's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> I had a, this is how picky I am. Uh, when I eat, I don't eat wings, right? I know I'm not as black as I should be, um, <laughs> but I don't eat wings. I probably had seven or nine wings in my whole life. So yesterday my homeboy made jerk chicken, right? Yeah. And it was backs and thighs and, and drumsticks. So I got a drumstick. I didn't want none of them. But I was like, let me get a drumstick. And I start taking the meat off with a fork, right? And my homeboy was like, man, I'm going to tell everybody you ain't picked that drumstick up and just ate it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. I love feeling like a carnivore sometimes. <laughs> and then we want to know what your top three goals are. What's so your in those categories, goals? what are your goals? And then I'm seeing a lot of people put what job do you want when you grow up, put what jobs you can have more than one, you could be a judge who is a mm -hmm. singer who is a construction worker who owns real estate like you could be a whole bunch of things. Yes. Um, and what are your three goals when they talking about countries to visit when I was a kid, I always thought about going somewhere far ever since i got a german pen pal i always wanted to go so i always looked at globes and maps so make sure you got a globe close around so you can see the proximity to america to everywhere else and know that you can get there pretty quick oh they talking about being home designers right Ishmael said he going to space 14 minutes ish that's all you need uh pediat pediatricians Bakers, come on. That's what I'm talking about. Mm, right, my goals now too. I said I will write a book. I like that, Ms. Nicole. I'm writing a couple cartoons. I got some sitcoms in me. I was supposed to be doing that while I was here. I might do that on the rooftop. Oh, by the pool. Yes. I got a really funny cartoon about uh, a manatee named Ooh, Griff. I can't wait to, to <laughs> see it and read it. Baseball player, businessman, getting A's and B's this year, Tanasha. Let me tell you something. That is a great idea, getting A's and B's. When you say that and when you put, I, write, I don't know about y'all, and you got to talk to your parents about it, but if you get those white you know if you write on a whiteboard you get them special pens that you can write on a whiteboard you could take those same pens and write on your mirror 
So on my mirror, I got all kind of stuff. Like I'm gonna have the best day ever. You were chosen for this. Brush your teeth longer. I'm, sometimes I'll be dumb. Uh, but you can write whatever you want to on your mirror. Then you can erase them. Super duper easy with a, a piece of paper towel. Oh, yeah. These are Get the good. level Z in reading. I like that. That's just, let me tell you something. Reading is a muscle. The mm -hmm. more you read, the more you're going to want to read, the more you're going to be curious about reading. I, me, myself, and my children, we go to the library. We stay there for three hours. We, we love the library. And we can leave with some books between the library and Barnes and Nobles. That's our six flags. <laughs> Half price is the one. Half price bookstores. They have them in Texas. I didn't yes. know they didn't have them in Atlanta when I was there, but I've been to a bunch. They got records. They sell albums there too. Oh yeah. Yes. That price is dope. Finish the Harry Potter series. How about that? Those are some really thick that's what she was talking about i'm a she's a gryffindor i'm a gryffindor too because my last name is griffin plus the gryffindor ah, true <laughs> be less yeah. shy in theater class juanita that's good because guess what everybody in theater just pretending to be somebody else so just really getting mm. the character then you won't have to be juanita no more you could be whoever you want to be ravenclaw Okay. Ooh. Smarties. Rain calls. Be confident. Do dishes. Clean, Clean my, my room, room to get, get allowance, allowance money. Actually, here, I'm going to put you kids on game. If you clean the living room and your mom come home and the dishes is washed and she can see the vacuum lines in the carpet, you got to have a vacuum line. She's going to be so proud of you that you're going to get more than money. So make that a habit. Just mm -hmm. do that every now and then. Be better than I was last year. Amen. Always the goal. Amen. Yes. That's absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, yes. I love all these answers. So too good. I said, I want, I can work out three times a week. I can read three minutes, 30 minutes a day. Yep. Meditate every day. Yes. I wrote, I can run more. I can save more money. And I can uh, value my brand more. Mm -hmm. How about that? That's a good one. Pay attention more. That's amazing. I love Hard that. To cook. One. That's a really good one. And that way oh, you can do it, make whatever you want when you're at home. Listen, I was over at my friend's house yesterday and he made this dish and he took garlics, right? And he mm -hmm. stuck them in his thing and he stuck like six garlics in it and then he he shaved it. And that that was probably it's just a little garlic uh like a cheese gra a garlic grater. That thing probably cost nine dollars, and me and my wife was looking at each other like it cost nine thousand dollars. We was like, look at his gar look at the garlic. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it made the difference. So that garlic always, Woo! Woo! always they does so it. Thin. They were so thin and good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Washing, the washing the dishes. Washing the dishes for allowance is a my, good one. Let me look around first. I want my wife to learn how to wash dishes. Every time she washed dishes, it'd be meat on the fork and ring. <laughs> rings around the bowl i have to end up washing them again miss nicole like i don't even say nothing because i don't want no smoke but that, maybe maybe that's your chore that's your chore your at home chore <laughs> oh i love soccer i love soccer that's from the hill kids yeah so yeah learn math. learn math come on susan read you're so lot. good I love that, you guys. That's good. And then on my will, I was saying if I was a kid, I put, I will do awesome in school. I will behave at home more. Mm -hmm. And I will listen to my parents. Those That's are good. That's very good. I will speak up for myself, too. Sometimes people just let things happen to them because they didn't say anything. 
And then the whole time they doing it, they go, I should have said, I ain't want to do this. Like, you got to speak up more. That's a really good one. I said that too. I said, I will set boundaries. Boundaries, man. Listen. A lot of it. time and heartache and headache. Woo. Set you some boundary. And Miss Nicole, you could love somebody from over there. <laughs> yes. They don't have to be in your space. <laughs> right over there. Right. These are so good, you guys. You guys Everybody are going to do amazing things this year. Learn how, learn how to, how to code. code. That's what I'm talking about. That's really good. Somebody else said uh, they want to learn how to do programming. Who said that? Hey, listen, that the way the, said that mm -hmm. the way the lady from Microsoft broke down the coding and said it was three different kinds, but the first one was the block one. I was like, man, I could do the block one for a minute until I got sweet and then learn Java or whatever. Yeah. JavaScript and then go up to the hardest one, Python. Mm -hmm. You can do it. It's like a language, like any language. And you don't learn languages fast in one day. You got to mm -hmm. learn the nouns <laughs> first a couple they words at a time the nouns yeah teach you the money teach you the greetings mm -hmm. you know oh she said she learning uh or they learning robotics next year Ooh. i love it i love all these these are amazing answers these are so good but i love to read more me too. Me too. We look when we read, we learn new vocabulary words. We learn empathy. We learn how to see things from other people's point of view. It's so important. Juanita said, I built my first computer at camp. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Start my business from my business plan. Y'all submitted good ones. Yeah. Uh, the Bouncy Fun House, Ishmael's uh, Square Up Plan, or the Henderson's Popsicle Party. But we'll get into the winners later, though. But the there were some great business plan submissions. You guys did awesome, man. We're not just saying this because we mm -hmm. got to say it. We, we we're really proud of y'all. You guys really did the homework. You really took the time to 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 enjoy and 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 absorb what we were talking about for the last three weeks you know or three or four weeks so again this i i would really like to get to the giving away the money but i think we got some other stuff to do too no oh, yeah we're, we're, we'll we we'll do it here in a little bit a few few more minutes for us to hear you guys' goals you guys were so creative What are some other goals you guys have for your health? Me, I can stop eating by seven o'clock. I don't need to That's do good. Any night eating. Ishmael, uh, <laughs> I wanted to be famous too growing up, but then I changed it to I would rather have money than be famous. So just <laughs> be specific with your fame. Like, I would like to be famous, but I would also like the money to back up the fame. Like, just because there's a lot of broke, famous people, <laughs> and you don't want to be them. Learn French. Nice. Okay. Francois. Somebody said Francois. Oh, let me say. No, no, no. Ish, I know. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty popular, but... It, you know, being popular and having money is two different things. So, you know, you want to make sure your your fame go with your bank account. Hey, drink more water is yeah. what I'm talking about. Yes. Use less plastic, drink more water. I love it. You guys are, come on, man. I love this group. Make a basketball team. Yes, and you will. You will, Al. Oh, nice. I don't know if I would have 
if I would have been y'all's age and learned about that code and then the black science or the black mm-hmm. engineers thing, I don't know. I go, I might have went a different way in my life. <laughs> yes. Oh, Tasha going all in. I know that's right. Making the baseball team. Kevin said, get stronger and taller to play football. Come on, Kev. Yes. Come on, Kev. Put that weight on and bust <laughs> somebody in the shoulder pads. Let's go. Look at my handwriting. That's a good one. Are they still teaching cursive? Yeah, I need to work on my handwriting too. <laughs> everybody around me. Yeah, that's a good one. It's an underrated nobody, one. I don't think nobody can read what I wrote right there. It's gibberish. No, no, no. It's perfect <laughs> English. Don't do that. <laughs> Airbnb. Ooh, be successful <laughs> renting out airbnbs to people when i get older that's what we're talking about those are some big goals arm up let me tell you something i have been reading about houses and i'm 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 about to get a little sweet on real estate too i ain't even gonna learn i learned cursive in the fourth grade at line okay oh, nice my handwriting is a little mix of cursive and regular writing let's say mine is too like that all we see is the theater behind you we told you that last time Every oh yeah time you, i don't know what you're doing but your theater <laughs> we don't that's all that matter <laughs> okay y'all don't need it's okay it's not important you don't need to see it anyway <laughs> just know it's better than mr griff's handwriting ah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> be better at typing that's a good one because you use typing for everything especially when you get older I ain't gonna lie that you could take a typing test. I'll probably take this typing test a couple times a month. I'm right at 98 words per minute. I can't hit the 99 or the 100, but I'm 90, I'm 97 a on a bad day. <laughs> on a on an awful day. <laughs> hey, that's I need to do one of those because I don't even know what, what I type at. It's a just go to uh words per minute. Just, I think it's WPM.com or something, but I'm always on it just trying to see if I can get 99. A Twitch streamer. Oh, yeah, them Twitch, them people on Twitch making bread ish. I know what you talk about, homie. Mm -hmm. I know what you talk about. That's good. And you guys can use your goals to actually write it on a vision board. So if you want to do it like that video that we were looking at, if you want to get the magazines and cut out pictures that match what you what your goals are, you can do that and just take these goals and put them on your board. And we want y'all to top, you know, write down your top three goals. Those are the best. Mm-hmm. And put it somewhere that you can see it. Like even if it's on your phone, like your home page or your screen i tell y'all i have i got two things uh my son just called me if you could see you can see my thing in the back wait a minute i'm going the wrong way see that can y'all see that gold thing in the back mm-hmm. basically that's the nobel peace prize I, I look at it every day because i'm gonna win that that is a I'm, also one, that's a really good way to look at it, guys, because your phone, you can have digital vision boards. Digital vision boards, your screensavers, your wallpapers. That's a really, really good way. Yeah, so you can see it in the back. It looks like a, a giant nickel. But yeah, it's really that's a good one. Alfred E. Nobel. Uh, and you know why uh, Mr. Nobel created the Nobel Peace Prize and stuff, Ms. Nicole? Because he was obsessed with himself? Why? No, because he wanted everybody to forget he was the man who invented dynamite. Oh, wow. How about that? And we did. They did forget. They absolutely. I always remind them and make people go, oh, did he? Like, <laughs> yeah. Wow. But you got to think back then, creating dynamite, that was the biggest invention of the century. You know what I mean? Like he was Bill Gates of inventions because once they created dynamite, then they could go through mountains. 
and then they could go through, you know, to get to the other side. So it was oh. actually really good. Um, so Kayla said, first get on point, then try to get into the School of American Ballet in New York. I know what that's talking about. I, come on, Kayla. Yes. Yes. All right. How you guys feeling? You want to see if you won some money? <laughs> what do you guys think? What do you guys think? <laughs> Let's go. Yes. Are you guys ready? I don't know. Are you ready? Should we, we might, should we, we do might, it? Should we, we do it, Mr. Grimm? applause in the chat. We, we tell everybody to give it up for them. Give it up for yourselves for this. Yes. Month. Come on. Hold on. Let me get in the chat too. Let me let me make my you Woo! know. Give it up for hey, your you family. guys. You guys were the stars of the summer camp. Let's go. Also, also, um, we want the parents. All the parents uh, that are watching have been listening. You know, maybe you call one day and not all the days, but the day you call. If you guys could put in the chat what you thought, how you think it affected your kids was, uh, you know, what kind of conversations did you have later about entrepreneurship? We would love that or whatever, the dancing, the painting, the uh, NASA, anything. Um, so to the parents, to, to the kids, make sure you uh, let your parents hold your laptop um, and they can write down some things that they, you know, saw that you changed from or that you really learned and experienced from. Maybe they can do that after we give away this money. Yes. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's tell the parents to hold on for a second. I see all the applause. So that means let's get into it straight up the prizes. Y'all did so good. And like we said, uh, this is a different camp. Not only do we provide the fun and the entertaining and the learning, but we also giving away bread. So mm -hmm. let's go. I'm, I'm going to do the third and second place winners. And then Miss Nicole was going to do the first place winners. How about that? Beautiful. Now, this is the homework winners. For the homework winners in third place, $25, Genesis. Woo! Genesis just picked herself up a gift card for second place for the homework winners for a hundred dollar gift card. Kennedy Gabrielle Davis. Come on! Woo! Genesis third place, Kennedy second place, and for first place, Miss Nicole. All right. And in first place for $250, that is two, five, zero, hundred dollars. We have Adeline, Sully, and Lola Hill. So the three children of Miss Jennifer, you guys get a total of two. $50, $250. Come on, Hill family, Woo! come through. Come through, Hill family. Okay, so that's the Hill family for first place, $250. Kennedy Davis, second place for $100. And my great friend in Massachusetts, Genesis, third place for $25. Okay, now we're going to... Yes, for attendance, mm -hmm. and you know they be giving away certificates at school and ribbons for best attendance, but you ain't never been to a school where they gave away some money. No, then everybody would always go. <laughs> okay, so for attendance, third place in the gift card for $25, Ezekiel Woods. That's Ezekiel Zeke. You just picked up $25, my guy. And for second place in a hundred dollars, Kalia Bell. Kalia Bell. Second place in a hundred dollars. Mr. Cole, who wins first? For first place, $250. We have Kariya, Kianya, and Kiel Barker. I'm sorry if I butchered it a little bit, but the Barker family, you guys get a total of $250. Kariah, Kianya, and Kyle. How about yes. that? Kiana, Kianya, Kiana. 
the K's. Anya, Kaya. All everybody yeah. with the initial KB, y'all get two hundred and fifty dollars for your family. How about that? Ooh. Shout out to the Barker family, first place, uh, second place, uh, Miss Bell, Kalia, Kalia, and Ezekiel Woods uh, for third place. Now, the business plan contest. Third place is twenty five dollars. Um, it was the business plan for Riri's Bouncy Fun House. Uh, Riri, you get $25 for your business plan for Riri's Bouncy Fun House. And second place is the Olympics. So let's just give away this silver. The silver, along with $100, is my guy Ishmael for his new business plan square up. Come on, Ooh. Ish. Got the silver for America. Let's go. And who won the gold, Miss Nicole? And then first place with the gold is Jacob, Joshua, Brooke, and Jonah Henderson for Popsicle Party. You guys get $250. It was their business plan. Popsicles with a pop. That's what I'm talking about. Shout out to the Henderson family. My man <laughs> Ishmael for his square up plan and Riri for Riri's. Ooh bouncy fun house and now we gave away oh. um the budget diary the budget diary um and this was courtesy of the 100 black men in indianapolis and myself um five winners get 25 dollars each number one mia Pereira. Pereira. mia p Pereira. p you get 25 dollars uh, Deara Boyd, you also get a uh, fraternity in your budget diary. The children of Juanita Davis, um, you guys get $25. Cece and Princess, uh, you guys get $25. And Michaela, all of y'all for your budget diary submissions. And everybody, your gift cards will be mailed out next week. Woo! Let's go, now, Mr. Cole. Woo! Now, Cece, we need your parents' email so we can send you this money. So just put it in the chat box for us, okay? Yeah, Ishmael, Ishmael won. He like, what's up with my money? Next week, <laughs> next week, they're gonna send them out. They're gonna mail them to you guys. Uh, and right now, if we could get the parents, if the parents are sitting closer in earshot, if you guys could write in the chat what you thought was awesome about um the camp um what did you like most what did you know notice that your kids like most and um oh they put in ishmael just sent out his email okay that'll all go to the organizers and they're gonna make sure oh it said the children of juanita jones not juanita davis that's our bad the children of juanita jones i'm I apologize for that. Pull the Steve Harvey on y'all. That would be the children of Juanita Jones, not Juanita Davis. Uh, the Henderson said they love the variety of subject matter, letting the kids know they have lots of options for careers and great seeing people that look like them doing all types of things. Appreciate you guys hosting. Oh, thank you, Hendersons. We appreciate y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you uh norma said do you need our address to mail the gift for kennedy i would just send everybody's email address or uh and then uh madam vice president anders she will uh, uh get back with everybody and we got a shout out uh madam president is the president and vice president of the madam walker legacy center are both two amazing women and that just says so much about the the center itself for for getting two women they were just they just got elected last month so uh shout out to madam president and madam vice president of the madam walker legacy center and we'll be um, mailing Norman out said, these gift cards Next yeah week. the people are saying the camp was very educational subject matter was excellent and quali qualitative qu quali Qualitative. Yes, probably. You know, that's apparent if I can't read it. 
qualitative, yes. Uh, we really enjoyed the different careers that opened up our viewpoints, giving these children a lot of options. It, it, it sounds like everybody is saying um, just, just for their kids, Miss Nicole, just to be able to see and find out. Let me tell you something. When I was in school, I didn't see black people do nothing with NASA. They showed all white dudes with science lab jackets and not even women, you know what I'm saying? So to hear these two men say how big Ms. Vasquez was, and really, she's basically number two. <laughs> she's the number she's two. It's a big deal. She's it's a big a deal. beyond huge deal. And everybody's saying, Madam President and Madam Vice President, yeah. Okay. PC so. and Princess World, if you can put your email in the chat, please. We want to send you some money. Is that okay? <laughs> you do that? Is it cool if we send you some bread? I mean, <laughs> you know, we just want to make sure we get that to you. That's all. Okay. So, yep. Kennedy's email is with Norma's. That's perfect. We, we should send our email. Yeah, if you want to drop your emails in the chat. I know the one that we're really missing is CC's. I think we have everybody else's, but it's okay to send it just in case. Okay, cool. Yep, uh, Madam Vice President said we have everybody else. Ishmael said, I'm so happy I want some money, Ish. Now remember, you want $100. But how much did you really win after you take out your savings and you tell me real quick? 50. That's what I'm That's talking right. about. That's my dude right, right there. There you go, Ish. There you go, my guy. There you go. And then you start, look, that other 50, you just let that grow and then tell your parents, will they match that so we can get PS5s this year for Christmas? Oh, that was selfish. That was for me too. Because I knew I was going to get one last year and I ain't get one and I still ain't got one. But I ain't mad. I'm okay. It's no big deal. It's just a stupid PS5. Sound a little mad. <laughs> <laughs> just a little. Ishmael said he's spending that 50 on his mama. Yes. Yes, Kylia really won. She really won. Hold on. Let me tell you. She won second place for attendance, $100. That's right. Yes, she did. Her mom said, did she really win? <laughs> Kylie must have been in the house talking about, I won, mama, mama, I won. No, you didn't. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Come ask them, mama. <laughs> oh, this is good. Look at this. My boys are planning their trip to Florida for space exploration. Thank you for giving us something. That's amazing. Come on. From the Madam Walker Legacy Woo. Center. Virtual Summer Institute. That's, That's amazing. Cute. We're so happy you guys feel inspired. I've been wanting to buy a telescope too. I ain't even gonna lie. I was looking at some when uh, when one of them planets was close a couple months ago. Yes. I was like, I need to go buy a proper telescope. But then they they go from like $60 to 3000 So you just start saying, I don't know, maybe I could just look with my glasses. If or I you need a, yeah, the beginner levels. I remember they used to sell them at Toys R Us back. They ain't got Toys R Us no more. I know, back when that was a thing. I remember. They was on the other side of the video games. Come on, Miss Nicole. Let me find out you was at Toys R Us the same time I was. <laughs> Probably. Yes, Toys R Us died, Sally, it did. Yeah. Yeah, they did. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> you, yes. I don't think nobody wanted to grow up. Everybody was a Toys R Us kid. Yes. Uh, Mr. Griffiths, hopefully. Okay. Cece, if you're there. Yes, Kayla had a great idea. She said you can invest the money so you could have more. Yes. And now you guys know about a little bit about investing in business plans and saving your money. So you got some money, but you got to save some. Tuck it away. Amazing. Thank you guys so much. You guys were the stars of this camp. Yeah, you were. Thank you for being so um, active in the chat and asking your questions. We, 
you know, they were amazing. They helped us and gift cards are going to be mailed out by Monday. So please, you know, give them two weeks to receive them. I know you're going to be checking the mailbox every single day. Are they here yet? Are they here yet? Are they here yet? Might be up to two weeks. So be patient, but they are coming. They're on their way. Yep. Nice. Well, y'all, we ain't want to do this, but we got to say until next year. Or, or, I don't winter. Know, I what was the it. first award name that you said the money was for again? I think we did. So we said that was, was for. It was for the homework. Yes. We did the homework, then we did the attendance, then we did the business plan contest, then we did the budget diary. So homework, third place was Genesis for 25. Second place was Kennedy for $100. And then first place was for 250 was the Hill family. So Adeline, Sully, and Lola Hill. We make sure, Madam Vice President, we, we did everything we were supposed to do, Ms. Nicole, <laughs> but I think that was... I think this is it. Now so. it's time to say goodbye to all our family. <laughs> Good thing you're a comedian. <laughs> I don't know what could rhyme with M-I-Z. I'm trying, but I, I got nothing. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. We still have that little poll at the end. And even though your feedback was amazing, if you could spend just you know, one minute at the end, doing that for us that would be wonderful we thank you guys so so much we had so much fun with you uh it was amazing it was amazing thank you guys thank you i i just want to tell y'all i'm so proud of you i thank think you. your options for your future just opened up a lot more yeah. i think uh you saw some people doing some things you never saw those people could do before and that changed your mind i think you learned a little bit about money that could just, you know, give you a little edge when you grow up. So we just wanted to say thank you from all of us, from my family. Um, it was a pleasure to be here Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays, man. Um, we will see you guys soon. We won't say bye. We'll just see it's you guys nice. soon. Mr. Cole, I will talk to you soon, ma'am. I'll talk to you soon, sir. Enjoy your vacation. Thank you guys. We're so, so proud of you and we're going to miss you, but we'll yes. see you soon. We'll see you soon. You guys stay blessed. Bye. Bye, you guys. Congratulations on that money. Yes, I'll congratulations. See you Follow I'll us see on you social Genesis. media. Bye, you guys. Bye, everybody.